Elon Musk recently exposed George Soros' corruption, despite being a former shareholder of Tesla. As a result, this has affected the economy alongside social networking platforms. But what could have happened that led Elon Musk to expose George Soros' corruption? You are curious, right? Then stay tuned. Before we dive in, please give this video a like, subscribe to our channel, and click the bell icon so you don't miss any of our new videos. Let's get started. Everyone is familiar with George Soros because he is one of the most prominent philanthropists in the world. He donated more than $32 billion to fund the Open Society Foundation's work worldwide. But if you ask Elon Musk who George Soros is, he will refer to him as a corrupt man. Yet, George Soros' quantum fund is widely regarded as the most successful investment fund in the annals of financial markets worldwide. With locations throughout Central and Eastern Europe, Russia, the Middle East, South America, Guatemala, and the United States, Quantum is currently considered one of the most successful mutual funds among the 3,000 available worldwide. Could this man be corrupt as Elon Musk claims? I think so, because George Soros is attempting to prevent Elon Musk from acquiring Twitter. When Musk completes the purchase of Twitter, this may negatively impact George Soros. So, did you know what George Soros did to destroy Elon Musk's plans? A letter was sent to the largest businesses in the world, including Coca-Cola, Disney, and Kraft, requesting them to ensure that any advertising deals they make with Twitter are conditional. The letter was signed by several American socialist organizations funded by George Soros. It will uphold the procedures it has in place to police hateful conduct, transparency, and the enforcement of civic integrity or risks losing advertising dollars. Putting pressure on major advertisers on Twitter to not support the social site if Elon Musk follows through with his commitment to protect free speech. The letter stated, Under Musk's direction, Twitter risks becoming a cesspool of misinformation, with your brand attached, polluting our information ecosystem in a time where trust in institutions and news media is already at an all-time low. Surprisingly, the Open Society Foundation, which George Soros runs, has provided direct financial support to two advocacy groups. Media Matters for America, and Free Press. So, what measures do you think Elon Musk implemented to defend himself against these baseless allegations? Well, he used George Soros' corruption. Elon Musk took to Twitter to respond to a report that was published. Let's do some investigating to find out who is funding these organizations that seek to restrict how you get information about yourself. He added afterwards that sunlight is the best disinfectant, hinting that transparency and openness not censoring, are always better. Musk stated that he would call George Soros and question him about a social media user's claim that he's the person behind the letter to the big companies. Later, he commented on a message that the Open Society Foundation had made and stated, George, please slide into my DMs. He continued by saying that he was seeking and anticipating a response from George Soros. Not only Elon Musk, but also a commissioner for the Federal Communications Commission rebuked the ridiculous demand made by organizations funded by George Soros to prevent the acquisition of Twitter by the wealthiest person on the planet. The Open Markets Institute is a group opposed to big tech and fights against what it perceives as monopolies held by social media firms. It claimed there would be a direct threat to freedom of speech in the United States if Elon Musk purchased Twitter. Additionally, the group asserted that because Musk already possessed ownership of the Starlink satellite broadband network, he should not be permitted to own Twitter. In response to this, the FCC Commissioner Brendan Carr stated that the FCC could not do such a thing. He said that the FCC does not have the jurisdiction to prevent Elon Musk from purchasing Twitter. It seems George Soros started this first, and his corruption story is uprooted due to this. Do you know that George Soros paid off three Democratic senators to vote against a budget agreement that would have avoided a government shutdown in the United States? All three senators, Fred Markin, Lewis Kearns, and Gerald Harmon, are under investigation for accepting payouts from a political action committee linked to none other than George Soros, who holds citizenship in Hungary. He claims he doesn't care if people know he buys legislators, arguing that even though Charles Koch does, he's called a patriot, but when he does so, it's called illegal. No elected person is allowed to take campaign contributions of any type based on a single vote. The three senators are guilty of accepting dark money after discovering Soros' money originated from abroad. Do you know the strange thing about the antagonistic connection between George Soros and Elon Musk is that George Soros was once a stakeholder of Tesla. 
According to documents filed with the United States Securities and Exchange Commission, Soros Fund Management LLC purchased an interest in the convertible bonds of Tesla for $35 million. Soros had previously owned some Tesla stock, but he liquidated all of his holdings in the company a few years ago. Now, George Soros and other elite members are ready to remove Elon Musk from his position. They even want to control Tesla, although they've not yet succeeded in doing so. But they are heavily investing in Tesla's competitors. According to a filing with the Securities and Exchange Commission, Soros Investment Office and Soros Fund Management purchased millions of shares of Neo Lucid and Rivian during the first quarter. The Soros Fund also raised its holdings in the electric vehicle manufacturer Rivian and bought a block of call options that could be converted to around 6 million Rivian shares. Nonetheless, Soros has sustained a loss of $1.5 billion due to his investment in Rivian. Both Neo and Lucid have had a decline of 56% so far this year. We have all witnessed the failure of every attempt devised by elites to bring down Elon Musk and Tesla. But what could possibly be the true motivation behind this? According to our reasoning, it's conceivable that Elon Musk did not provide this billionaire with the level of satisfaction he was looking for in terms of returns when he invested in Tesla. In addition, the purchase of Twitter by Elon Musk's company will significantly impact the right to free expression, as well as the business dealings of major corporations and their advertising endeavors on this social networking site. What are your thoughts about this battle between George Soros and Elon Musk? Let me know in the comments section below. That's all there is to it for today's video. Thank you for staying with me this far. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on future amazing videos like this one.